and the last thing we have to do, we have to adapt the region here. So the region here is Europe. Here we choose North America and here we have to choose South America. And now you can see that the table is done and that it is not as much work as you may expect. Today I will show you how the small multiples got improved with the March 2025 update and what you can do now with them. To be more specific, I will show you how to get from this to this. I think this is pretty cool. So let's jump into Power BI and I will show you how it works. So here we are in Power BI and I will show you how to go from here to here. This is something I have built in this video if you want to rebuild it or watch the video. And in general, what I did here is I have put in the measure. It's a sum of the selected measure. It's a switch measure which decides if there is the profit zone or the sales depending on what is selected in the slicer and i have put in as the categories the small multiples the regions and i have one callout value the callout value is again the selected measure and i have two reference labels on the selected measure one times the selected measure past year and the second time the selected measure year over year change. And the first thing you can see here is that all the colors from the year over year change have the same color because in the previous version it was not able to connect them to the single value shown in the cards. This works now, which is pretty awesome. So this is the first thing we will fix. But let me duplicate first. So we will go to the callout values, select here the sum selected measure, go to the reference labels, select here also the sum of the selected measure and select the year over year change. And for the value, I will put in here a conditional formatting I have prepared. And this is the conditional formatting for the selected measure value. And now you can see the values are green or orange and the measure itself is only checking if in the slicer the profit is selected or the sales and then it is checking if the profit is smaller than past year if yes the color is orange if no the color is green so the good color and this is all what this measure is doing so we will do the same here go to the reference label and go to the value and put in here the conditional formatting. And now you see that also the colors are adjusted to the negative or the positive change. The next thing we will do is we will delete this region here and make this a little bit smaller. And then we can change the layout of this card. So we will go to the small multiples layout. Go from single row to single column and drag this down. And what you can already see now is that the titles of the small multiples header are cut. And this is the first great thing that has improved. You can turn this text now. So we will go to the small multiples header, go to the title and change the whole orientation to rotate all text by 270 degree. And you can see now it looks much better. So this is the first or the second big improvement after the conditional formatting for the single cards. And what we will do now is we will increase the callout value. So we will go to the callout values and make this bigger, let's say to 26. And we will put this here because we will need it here later. The next thing now is that I want to have the headers here, the background color and here showing the colors of the categories so in general i want to have different colors for the different categories and this can be achieved now also with some conditional formatting of the background of the small multiples header which was also not possible before and this is also super cool so we go to the small multiples header go to the background and here you can see now the option for the conditional formatting and in the conditional formatting here, we will put in the background for the region. 
and the background for the region is a switch measure. And it is checking if the selected value for the region is Asia, Europe, North America or something else. And the colors are adapted according to the selection. Oops, so we will put this in here now. Go to the field value and choose the selected or the conditional formatting background region. And now you can see immediately that the background of the header is adapted. And we do the same for the text because you can see here now the text is no more readable. So we go to the title and do the same here with the second measure I have created. And this is the conditional formatting for the title. And now you can see it looks much better immediately. So this is already looking pretty nice. And what we will do now is we will change the background of the card to a light gray. So background, we will choose here this light gray and we will add an accent bar. And the perfect thing about the accent bar now is you can also connect this to the categories color. So also here we can choose the field value and the, con the conditional formatting for the background region. And we can increase the width a little bit. So now you can see it looks much better now. And to make it really good, we will change the layout from the table to the cards and increase here the space, let's say to 20. Next thing, we go to the callout values, select here all. Then we go down to the cards and change this from narrow to custom and put in here a padding of 20 to move the text in a little bit. And now you can see it looks much better and the colors are aligned to the categories. The next thing what we will do is we will fix this part. And for this part, we will first add a filter and the filter will be the region because we want to have that later for all the regions. So we will drag this in and select for the first card Asia. And now you can see it is filtered down by Asia. The next thing we will do is we will go to the small multiples headers, change the title. So we go to title to the FX and choose here again the conditional formatting for the title and do the same with the background color. Go to field value and select here also the background for the region. And now you can see it looks exactly like it looks here. Then we will go down to the card, change the turn on the background and change the color to gray. And now you can already see that it looks much more similar than it did here. But here I still have um, some gaps because I used that before. So I will go to the small multiples layout and turn off the grid lines and choose here cards. And I will put the space between the cards again to 20. Then I go to the small multiples header and set the padding here to zero. So now you can see that the gray and the blue are aligned. And now we want to shift this text a little bit. So we go to the callout values, select here all series, go here to the padding, change it to custom and choose here again the 10 or let's say also 20 and now you can see that the text is moved in a little bit and we will adapt also the header to look the same so we will also set here the padding to 20. And now you can see that the first card is done. And the great thing is now, as we have some conditional formatting in here and here, you can take this card and copy it down three times. And you only have to adapt the last one. And then you can press shift and select all four of them. Go to format, go to align and distribute vertically and align left. And now you can see that they are perfectly aligned. And the last thing we have to do, we have to adapt the region here. So the region here is Europe. 
here we choose North America and here we have to choose South America. And now you can see that the table is done and that it is not as much work as you may expect. So I hope that I could show you that it is pretty easy with the new features for the small mind tables to create such a KPI table very fast and without much work. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Hope to see you on my channel soon and wish you a great day now. Bye bye.